Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 39 of Ocarina of Time, and in the last episode, I have gotten all of the barriers from around Ganon's Tower. Now, it's time for us to actually go and deal with one last thing. But first, a brief demonstration to what these gauntlets that I got in the last part can do. They can actually pick up silver rocks like the normal silver gauntlets could. But the difference is they can also pick up black rocks instead as I've shown off in part 38. But this is for those who have not been watching the playthrough and just happened to show up here at part 39. This is where a fairy is located. Now that we have the means and move the block out of the way, now we could go inside. And no confirmation music, sadly. But this is it. This will be the last time we'll be using Zelda's Lullaby, for reals this time, to activate the Fairy Fountain. And thankfully, with everything that has happened, I have finally gotten over my fear of the Great Fairy. You see, for those who don't understand, I, I played Hyrule Warriors, where the Great Fairy is a playable character. She had Link in a bottle. She fired the moon! The freaking moon! And she squashed enemies with her butt. Yep. It's the Great Fairy. But nonetheless, what we're getting from this Great Fairy is probably one of the better upgrades in the game. A defense power-up. Meaning now, everything that we have took up until now has been halved. Even Ganon's damage. And Ganon actually deals a lot of damage if you're not careful. We're talking two and a half, three hearts here. And this actually reduced it down by one. Well, one and a half. But nonetheless, this is the last fairy. So we will see you again. Well, not this version of the fairy. But we will see a great fairy again later on when I decide to come back to the Zelda universe and play Wind Waker. But for now, we have a tower to clear. We have a castle to beat. And I want to just reveal something to people. This would have been the final part. I would have live streamed it and would have already had it posted on YouTube by yesterday if it wasn't for one thing one the fan on my computer broke so I had to break it up to two parts and two the second thing the internet went out so yeah that is what screwed me over Damn it! I'll just kill you guys. This will be the last time I see this despicable fire piece yet again. Never again. I hate those bastards. And now for the first challenge of Ganon's Tower. To Dinopolis! Unlike Glissopolis, Dinopolis have a bigger hitbox. So, the bigger on sword will make short work of them. Hell, the Master Sword can make short work of them. They're not smarter by any means. But they will actually strike behind you. And they tend to jump more. So yeah, bear that in mind. Now then, next room. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Stalfos! No, screw this. I'm just gonna run through you guys. I, I don't even care. Die! And... Nope, nope, nope. Get back here and die. One more hit, and booyah! That takes care of that. Before I get that big key... There's one last room I want to get rid of first. Oh, excuse me. 
And let me equip something here. Yep, I'm tearing up my man cards, ladies and gentlemen. Why? That's why. There's two iron knuckles. So, with that said, let's put on Nairu's love. And agitate the hell out of both of them! Come on, you bastards! I'll kill both of you! Yeah, what's the matter? Can't hurt me? Ha! Ah, too bad! Come at me, bro! I'm gonna take both of you on! This may be the most reckless move I've ever done, but I don't care. They're almost dead. In fact, they're both dead. Yeah, take that, bitches. Now I go get the big key. The only reason I did that is because, well, I wanted to try to make this a little bit shorter. But, as we head to the top of the tower, the next part will literally be the finale, as it's going to be Ganondorf and Ganon. Probably one of my longest parts, well, actually, third longest part I've had throughout the entirety of this playthrough. It's not as long as the Water Temple, but it's still pretty freaking long. Because it's also the ending. I promise you, I'm going to own the final bosses of the game. And as you can hear in the background, Ganondorf's organ music is getting louder and louder and louder. And we are closing in on the finale, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's go on ahead and open this door. And, you can actually grab some items here. Just in case you seriously got roughed up by those iron knuckles. Which I did. Because I did the roughing up. And by the way, these respawn just in time for the battle with you know who. And now we go up to the obligatory stairs with red carpet. With ominous organ music playing in the background. And ladies and gentlemen, I bid you all farewell, because the next part, we're going to be taking on Ganon himself. And we are going to get our revenge for part 16, and for the Water Temple, and the Shadow Temple. See you guys next time.